I've got these card holders that I'm making for my website and some shows that I've got coming up and they need edge paint so I thought I would film a tutorial so I've got this sort of card holder and I will be painting the edges so the supplies that you're gonna need are a coarse file you'll need your paint roller your wood slicker some tokeno burnishing gum Heatable edge paint, which I get this from Rocky Mountain Leather, and I use this mini iron. This is an iron from Clover, and it's adjustable heat settings, high, medium, low. I keep mine at medium. You don't want your edge paint to be too hot, but you also want it to blend into the edges of your project really nicely. And this comes with attachments, which is great for ironing in small places, um, quilting, things like that. And I use this attachment for edge painting. So let's get started. The first step to a really nice edge painting is to make sure that these edges are smooth so if you have any stray threads you want to flame them um, burn them get them out of the way and then you go ahead and start with your coarse file you can already see the shavings of the leather coming off i try to file in one direction this is going to help smooth out your edges make sure there's no like you can see that right there. Make sure there's no burrs or extra snags. You want it to look really nice. So you can see all this, all these fibers from the leather. So you just continue to file that. To your liking I usually feel the edges make sure it's nice and smooth get off all these extra fibers because you don't want that mixing in with your edge paint but you can see right here like some of this leather wants to come up so I just go ahead and just file it off put in a little bit of pressure Not too much. So you go ahead and clean that off. Clean off this table here. The next step is you're going to apply your Tokono burnishing cream. And I use a clear. I get mine from Springfield Leather but I'm sure you can get this online. And what you do is I just take my finger, one of my fingers, and I just apply it to the edges. And you just want to glide it on. So that it lays on nice and smooth on your edges. And with the tokenol, you want to make sure and apply a nice light coat. You can always go in and add more later. You don't want it too, too heavy. Um, tokenol does not take long to dry, which is why I like to use that. But it's not, it does not act as a base. But I find with the heatable edge paint and proper, <clears throat> excuse me, proper filing, and proper burnishing I don't need a base coat so 
that's why I like using heatable edge paint. So you just continue applying your Pocanol burnishing gum to the edges. Get it off your leather there. And that will dry nice and clear. And you want to make sure before you go to burnishing with your wood slicker that this Pocanol is completely dry. And it just takes a few minutes. So, I mean, you can go on to your next little project. Let me close this up here. That way no fibers get in there. And you can just go on to your next project. Got myself a little assembly line of card holders here. And just sand down, burnish, and paint. They're all dry. And then I'll add those to my inventory. So when that token all dries, I'll come back and show you what the next step is. So my token all is dry. And the next step in preparation for edge painting is going to be to burnish. And I use this wood slicker and it has multiple um, grooves. So you, depending on the thickness of your project, you will place You'll find what fits best for burnishing. And you just go back and forth. And this makes a really nice, smooth edge. And the burnishing gum just really assists in laying down those leather fibers. So you can see it's not filing, but it's just, it makes it so smooth. And... If it's not smooth enough for you, go ahead and just repeat those steps. But the key to really good edge painting is your filing, your tokenol, your burnishing. Filing, tokenol, burnishing. Just getting those edges nice and smooth. So just going back and forth, applying some pressure, getting them just nice and smooth so your finger just really glides over you don't want to feel any burrs if you do go back to your filing it's not hard it's just a process but the outcome is definitely worth it I'm just going to go ahead and continue burnishing until I get the smoothness that I like. Make sure and clear off any fibers. My next step is going to be to apply my first layer of paint and I'm using black again this is heatable edge paint from Rocky Mountain Leather I've got my edge roller and I just dip it into the paint get a nice layer on there you don't want it too thick but then you just go ahead and roll this paint on there.
first coat is going to be nice and thin. All your coats of paint should be nice and thin to where you get good coverage, but it's not running off the edge. I do notice that this particular edge paint is on the thinner side, which is fine. And on these card holders, I'm usually good with just applying two coats. So it doesn't take long at all to get my desired look. So you just roll that on. like so. And just making sure you're covering all the edges. So that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go ahead and continue until I have that all done. You want to make sure that before you move on to this next step, this first coat is completely dry again because you're putting on a thin layer it won't take long just a few minutes so you just go along with your assembly line and by the time you get to your last one this first coat will probably be dry so here you can see I have the edges all covered and if you get a little bit on the leather, just run your finger against that edge and fill in where you need to. coat has dried I'm gonna go ahead and just check out all the edges make sure I've got good coverage and I'm gonna lightly just very lightly file just to make sure everything is still nice and smooth very lightly file get all the fibers any stray fibers off of there. I'm going to go ahead and take my wood slicker and I'm going to burnish these edges. So they're nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat of my edge paint and let it dry. And once I've done that, I will come back and show you what our next steps are. to 
the heat onto the paint very long, but we're just gonna glide it. And as you can see, it's already melting. So just a gentle glide over that. And that will just push that right into the edges. Just glide. Now here you can see that some of the paint is coming off and so I will probably have to burnish and do one more coat. Normally I can get away with two coats, but I think because I put a thinner layer on, which is fine. You're just literally melting this. And I don't know if you can see it from this end, but from my end, you can see a little bit of smoke coming up. And this is why I keep this particular iron on medium. Low is too low. It doesn't heat up the paint well enough, in my opinion. And high is way too high. You don't want to burn it. You just want to glide it along so that the paint literally melts. And that's pushing that into the edges of your project, creating a nice smooth finish. And you can kind of tell too because it will leave your paint a little bit shiny not too shiny but just enough to know that you've done some processing I'm gonna go ahead and burnish a little bit and you can see that the edges I mean it's nice and smooth I'll do a little bit of burnishing probably put one more coat on this and that'll do it and you can see how the burnishing makes it nice Now you can see right there that needs a little bit more heating. And you may need, even need to file some of this down before you go to your next coat. So it's all up to how you want your project to look. I like to have nice smooth edges. That's why I take the time to paint my edges. And these card holders, if you're just learning how to edge paint, they're a great project to learn on because they're small, what I call immediate gratification. see how that's looking now you can see where some of the paint has rubbed off here so I'm gonna go ahead and add another layer of paint let it dry heat it up and come back and show you how that looks so my last coat of paint is dry and I just wanted to show you what it looked like and I'm just gonna go ahead and burnish this one last time and this will be ready to go. I just wanted to show you how nice and smooth 
those edges are. And I just really love the look of heatable edge paint. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I will try to remember to leave all the links of everything that I use in the description box so that you can go ahead and purchase anything that you need and go ahead and give this a try.